property that you found out that was Dodge Dodge commercial, Dodge. right? Yeah. You're, in escrow. You're in escrow on a property that is zoned commercial. It doesn't matter to me if you come out with the best design that we love. You could put a golf course, say you're going to put a golf course. It doesn't matter because whatever you say you're going to do, because of Sacramento and SB 35 and our city's participation, yeah, whatever you say you're going to do does not mean that's what's going to be done. And you could sell it to another company. Right? Or you could go for the profit and get all the funding that's available. And there's so many different things that could happen. And there's no way to stop it. Absolutely no way to stop it with SP35. So whatever design you come up with, for me, doesn't matter. I'm going to oppose it. And I would like to know if you can take account of how many people at this meeting oppose any residential building. Sure, look at you. I know a lot of people oppose. The one who's not going to oppose is... Four or five of them. 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 Almost. Any residential... Again, thank you for your time. Sure. Um, I would like to, to um, make a, a comment, though, about once you get, if you did get a project approved by the city, okay. you could tell us whatever you want it to be, but quote unquote, by right, by right, by right, they can change it. They could promise us single story, but by right, they can build whatever they want once it's approved. So the reason why I asked you about a mitigated negative declaration was to say, if this goes to an EIR, it's not as simple as city council passing, because this community will stand up. We will fight that EIR tooth and nail. We will hold this up for a decade. And to be honest, I wish KB Homes was here, because they're the next one in line if you guys drop out, so they can see the opposition, so they don't waste their time either. So with all due respect, Olson Company may be a great developer, but the 5th District just doesn't want it. Okay. And it's, just, it's not going to work here. We will fight this. I mean, it, all you had to do was be at the land use element fight. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Okay, that's so hearing. It's, it's, it's just not going to work. It's not going to be a successful project, and it's not worthwhile to try and make this uh, work for you guys. It really isn't. I do appreciate everyone's passion. Um, I do want to clarify one thing, but so, if any project is approved in any city, really, that's really what you have to build. So that, no, I mean, that's no, my no, that's no, been no, my experience. Six districts just were promised uh, low. Uh, they were just promised senior housing, so the project was approved, okay. and then they said, "No, we're going low income." And they can do that by right. My wife used to work for oh, a very large okay. landowner in California. So, and she now works for a nonprofit that deals with directly okay. with developers. You're not talking about the actual structure and the square footage and things. No, like that. Oh, I'm talking, talking about, about your the, project. You right. can you can by right change your project once it's approved. And there is no transparency, and it's not on Olson Company. It's on the city of Long Beach Absolutely. and the politicians that don't care about the residents. So, I'm sorry. It's okay. just the 5th District is not the right place for you guys to come and try and do business. Okay. I, I appreciate, really, everyone's candor. This, this meeting, the third meeting, has been the strongest in the local <laughs> meeting. I um, mean, <laughs> no one. It is definitely said in the other. But I am going to close the meeting. I think I've, I have heard um, a lot of what everyone has to say. I, I am hearing the same message over and over again. No home. It sets the precedent. Changing the land use is something that you know we fought so hard for, and you know we don't want that moving forward. And you know uh, the possibility of even opening the door for someone else to come in on this side or any other side in the fifth district. And there was a chance of in other districts that uh, we could look at development in, in those areas. Is what I'm hearing pretty loud and clear this time. So I, I do appreciate that. <laughs>